Hey guys, welcome to my anime review, or uh, Natsu Reviews Anime. I am Natsu from the Fairy Tale Podcast. Now, if you haven't seen the episode that I'm talking about right now, please stop right here, pause the video, go to Crunchyroll, go to Funimation, wherever you v watch your anime officially, please make sure and go watch the official releases. Help keep your machine employed. It's really, really easy to do. Uh, but make sure you check them out before you watch this, or there's going to be plenty of spoilers. That having been said, uh, let's move on to the actual anime. Hey guys, welcome to the Fairy Tale Podcast, your podcast for the greatest guild in the world. <laughs> I'm getting all fired up just thinking about this episode. So hey guys, uh, Natsu here again, and I'm doing my review of episode 180, otherwise known as the Garrow Knights. Uh, I There were a couple of things that I really liked in this, but more or less it was just kind of meh to me. Uh, I don't know. The, the, there wasn't really enough going on. I mean, they were trying to slowly move the plot forward, but I don't think there wasn't too much going on. Uh, Alright, well, let me start off with the things that I liked. I loved uh, all the Panther Lily moments. Uh, the part where he was like, I should have drawn a map on my back. And, like, you see, like, they're in this underground cavern that's, like, the size of the entire city. And it, like, has many different levels to it. And I'm just sitting there thinking, you would have never been able to fit that on your back, dude. Uh, and how would you even know the landscape? But, uh... <laughs> I, I, I thought that hilarious, and uh, Lucy getting stuck in the little crevice as they're trying to move deeper into the cave, like, her boobs getting stuck, and then, like, when she finally pulls out, she lands crotch first on Natsu's face. So, yeah, uh, Mashima says he's not shipping characters, but, man, is he really pushing Nalu. Uh, <laughs> let's see, uh, next one, the conversation between Asuka and Mavis, probably one of my favorite things. Asuka keeps calling her short, even though Mavis is like, I am an adult, I'm the old I'm the oldest person here, blah de blah. I thought that conversation was absolutely hilarious and adorable. And then the conversation between the two masters, Makarov and Mavis, and like Makarov constantly uh, Makarov saying how many apology letters he has to write and everything, and then to find out that Mavis had to do the exact same thing for her generation. I I love that that is apparently a rite of passage, the amount of apology letters they had to write. I I could not get over that. Especially especially Mavis's crying face when she was talking about, I had to write so many apology letters. I love that moment. But for the most part, everything else was kind of even keel. The Garrow Knights didn't really show up until towards the end. I mean, there was some action and everything, and it ended on Wendy getting captured by one of the plants. So, I mean, there was a little bit of fighting, and the 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 fight with... When Wendy and Natsu team up, it's always a pretty good fight and outcome. But I knew, because I'd read ahead in the manga, but I, I kind of know where things are going, so to me it felt even keel. But I, I, I'm actually curious to hear from many of you who watch the anime but don't read the manga. So I'm actually kind of curious to get your perspective on this because I, I think it'd probably be very different. Like you wouldn't have been so disappointed because you, you're not trying to look forward to what's coming up next because, man, you know, this part or that part's happening soon. A and B must happen and you need to see A and B happen soon. I, I think it's more the anticipation for things that are happening later in the manga series, or it, just in the storyline itself, that I'm like, ah, oh, hurry up and get to this, hurry up and get to this, and that's kind of what's downplaying every episode a little bit for me, because I'm sitting on, you know, basically pens and needles waiting to get to those parts, and I need to just shut up and enjoy the episodes as they happen. But yeah, that's just my opinion. Uh, let me know if you disagree or agree with me in the comments below. So hey guys, thanks. I hope you really enjoyed this review of the anime. I know I didn't get really in-depth with it like I did with the other two, but still, I hope you enjoyed it. And again, let me know what some of your favorite moments from this episode of the fairy tale series, the new series, I guess, or uh, just this episode. Post in comments below. <laughs> let us know what you thought. Don't forget to like, favorite, and share. And of course, guys, uh, as always, make sure to check out 
our uh, our social media pages: Facebook, Tumblr, Twitter, Google Plus. The, yeah, that's a thing. We we're actually on Google Plus. How do you think we do the live shows? <laughs> but yeah, uh, make sure to check all of that out. Uh, Facebook.com slash fairytale podcast, fairytalepodcast.tumblr.com, uh, at fairytalecast on Twitter, and you can just find us as fairytale podcast on Google. Uh, guys, we really, really want your support because we're trying to push for fairy tale on Toonami. That's the campaign we're trying to do. Use hashtag fairy tale on Toonami and let Adult Swim know that you want this anime in the Toonami block because it really, really deserves to be there because it's such an awesome show. We're really looking forward to it. Uh, guys, again, remember that that is Adult Swim that needs to know. You could send it to Funimation all day long, but they kind of don't have a dog in this fight. It's Adult Swim that needs to know it because they're the ones that are in charge of Toonami. So, uh, yeah, that's it for me. I'm Natsu Dragneel. I'm signing off. <laughs>